your opinion on protein. 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight is like the upper limit. What are your thoughts on that? I've always been kind of a fan of the, the one gram, <laughs> one gram per pound sort of thing. Where I have pivoted is sort of my thought process on allocation and when you have it. I think we're starting to understand more that we can have a lot more flexibility with when we have our protein than we used to maybe think. One of the things that I've noticed is that rather than having some piddly wink protein meal after my workout and then starving myself the rest of the day because I don't have access to food, it's almost better to just fast the rest of the day and eat my protein when I know I can get it. You know, I don't have evidence to back this up, but I was just filming something on it today because I find it interesting that there's such a difference between going a long period of time without food, like in a fasting sense, compared to having like a really small little bit of protein or a little meal and then going a long period of time without eating. It's like once you open the floodgates, all these hormones and different things change. You no longer have the protective or preservation mechanisms in place. It's like when you're fasting, you've been without food for so long that your body says, okay, we're clearly in a fasted state. Let's go ahead and start to like preserve. But the moment that you break that, things change, right? The moment that you break that, the body doesn't think it's in a time of survival anymore. So I find that if I'm like going to have a really busy day, it doesn't make sense for me to have a protein shake after a workout, knowing that I'm not going to be able to get another good meal in until dinner time. I'd rather just fast and get all of my protein in at dinner, even though it may not be ideal for total protein count. I think when I factor in muscle protein synthesis, versus muscle protein breakdown, I'm probably at a net positive.